Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the stages in the eukaryotic cell cycle. You should then be able to describe how the cell cycle is regulated and this is for the OCR and edX cell specs. Ok, I'm showing you here a cell undergoing mitosis. I should point out that this video is massively sped up. Now mitosis is a type of cell division. As you can see in mitosis one cell splits into two cells. And we're going to look at mitosis in much more detail in the next two videos. Now a key idea you need to understand is that mitosis is just one part of a much longer process called the cell cycle. In this video I'm going to take you through the stages of the cell cycle involving mitosis. Ok, now the first idea you need to understand is that the whole cell cycle can take a long time and the duration of the cell cycle depends on the type of cell. In certain mammalian cells the cell cycle can take around 24 hours. Whereas in other cells it can take much longer, for example months. And some cells can exit the cell cycle, either temporarily or permanently. And we'll look at that later. Ok, now the cell cycle consists of two main parts. The M phase or mitotic phase is when mitosis takes place and the cell then divides into two. However, the M phase is actually only a relatively short period within the whole cell cycle. Most of the cell cycle is called interphase. Now during interphase the cell may appear to be relatively inactive, but actually lots of different processes are happening and we'll look at them soon. The other thing to bear in mind is that during interphase the cell is carrying out the functions of that particular cell type. For example, intestinal epithelial cells are absorbing nutrients from the small intestine. Ok, now we can divide interphase into three stages. The first stage is called the G1 phase. During the G1 phase the cell replicates organelles such as mitochondria. Now replicating organelles requires a great deal of proteins. So during G1 a high level of transcription and translation take place. And we looked at those on the topic on protein synthesis. During the G1 phase the size of the cell also increases. This ensures that when the cell divides the two daughter cells are the correct size. Ok, next the cell passes into the S or synthesis phase. During the S phase all of the chromosomes are replicated and to do this the cell needs to synthesize a great deal of DNA. Ok, now the cell enters the G2 phase. During G2 the cell replaces the energy stores used during the S phase. The cell also continues to carry out transcription and translation. And if any of the chromosomes have been damaged then they're repaired during G2. And just like in the G1 phase, the cell continues to grow. Ok, once the cell has finished the G2 phase, it now enters the M or mitotic phase. Now we can divide the mitotic phase into two parts. The first part is called mitosis. During mitosis, the chromosomes are separated into two nuclei. The second part is called cytokinesis. And during cytokinesis, the cell divides into two. Ok, now sometimes cells can exit the cell cycle. If this happens then scientists say that the cell is in the G0 phase. Now cells can enter G0 for three reasons. Firstly, fully differentiated cells enter G0 and stay there for the rest of their lives. A good example are neurons in adults. Secondly, over time the DNA in cells can be damaged and at a certain point the cell will no longer be able to divide. Scientists call these senescent cells. So at this stage the cell enters G0 permanently. And lastly some cells enter G0 temporarily, for example B memory cells. These cells can then be triggered to re-enter the cell cycle during an infection. Ok, now the cell cycle is very tightly regulated. At certain key points in the cell cycle, the cell checks that the cell cycle should continue. Scientists call these checkpoints. At any point, if a cell fails a checkpoint, it will leave the cell cycle and enter G0. There are three checkpoints. Before the S phase, the cell must pass through the G1 checkpoint. Here the cell checks that it's grown to the correct size. It also checks for DNA damage. If the cell satisfies the G1 checkpoint, then it passes into the S phase and carries out DNA replication. The next checkpoint is at the end of G2, before the cell passes into the mitotic phase. Again at the G2 checkpoint the cell checks for DNA damage and that the cell has grown to the correct size. 
And if this checkpoint is passed, then the cell moves into the mitotic phase. Now the final checkpoint is called the metaphase checkpoint or spindle checkpoint. This checks that the chromosomes were assembled correctly on the mitotic spindle. If this is the case, then the cell completes mitosis and proceeds through cytokinesis. In the next video, we're going to start looking at mitosis.